Hello friends, I am in Nagaland. I came to Nagaland and stayed in Nagaland University for some time. That's why I thought कि मैं एक वीडियो बना के Nagaland University के बारे में आपको दिखाऊंगा कि कैसा है Nagaland University. So uh, this is the gate of Nagaland University. Uh, this is the main entrance. So यहाँ से uh, you can enter to the university and then that is an auditorium. इहोशे किनिमी हॉल इट इज़ कॉल्ड इट इज़ द बिगेस्ट ऑडिटोरियम ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी और यहाँ पे एनी मीटिंग्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटीज आर टेकन प्लेस विच इज़ इन द बिग स्केल देन यू एंटर फ्रॉम हियर आई जस्ट वॉक माई कार ओके हाँ तो दिस इज द एडमिन बिल्डिंग ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी और This is the Rajiv Gandhi Park. I'll also show how this uh, park looks. Uh, so what we do, what we we do is we'll show the park first, Rajiv Gandhi Park. This is a very uh, beautiful place. This is Rajiv Gandhi Park, as it is written here. We will go uh, from this direction. <coughs> Actually, the story is Rajiv Gandhi, uh, when he was Prime Minister, he uh, actually uh, inaugurated this university. He established this university. What inauguration? Rajiv Gandhi actually established this university. So he himself came to uh, Nagaland for the university. and that is why in his name this park is dedicated yeah you can see it's a beautiful place today is a saturday saturday is a holiday here so there is no many people but it looks absolutely beautiful i'll just show you this uh what it is called stone uh, here people do party uh in working days you will find people are reading here sitting around this is a foundation stone i'll just show so here it is nagaland university lumami foundation stone laid by sri rajiv gandhi honorable prime minister of india on 5th 10 1987 yeah This is the administration building which I already showed. The national flag is there. This university is surrounded by hills as you can see. All around. So what I'll do is uh, now I'll show some of the departments. This university let me tell some words about this university. this is one of the central universities in india in uh, in the country there are different kinds of universities for instance central university state university state universities are run by state governments central universities are run by central governments so this is located in nagaland but it is run by central government of india so uh, the point is that if you want to study in this university you can visit uh, the website of the university this university is a growing university right of course uh, uh, northeast india is is a peripheral area and uh, uh, we have certain limitations uh, when it comes to communication and all but this is a growing university and it will definitely grow in the coming years you will find uh, what my experience i can tell is that the teachers here are very helpful they are diverse they are from different parts of the country students are also getting increasingly diverse 
uh, this university offers uh, PhD, uh, then MA, then it has uh, also, yeah, I should mention that it has three campuses. Uh, this is where I'm standing, is located in Lumami in Jonibuto district of Nagaland. There are two other campuses, one is in uh, Dimapur and one uh, is in uh, Kohima. So two other campuses are also there. So some departments are in Kohima, some departments are in Lumami. Lumami, may if you talk about social science, we have sociology here, then uh, political science here, then anthropology here, then uh, history is in uh, Kohima campus, uh, mass com department is here, uh, law department is here. So you will find all the modern subjects that is available in academia, you will find in this university. Uh, so we can expect that this university is growing and this university will offer you a very very good uh, opportunity in your life right so we'll show you some of the departments stay tuned <laughs> What you can see now is the admin building mm. or this is the canteen of course today is saturday and it is closed normally saturday sunday the university is closed this is a political science department and there is one more program na? east asian studies or south asian studies what is that yeah something some center for south east studies uh, something is also there in the political science department uh, this is department of sociology you can see from inside the car maybe uh, the banner is seen Sociology. This is Department of Sociology, Metra. Dikhata wapko about uh, this department. So as you can see, this is the room of the head of the department. Uh, this is conference hall, and this is the main entrance, which is closed today. Uh, main entrance inside there are classrooms of course uh, this department has a as you can see a tribal research center also in addition to this uh, department um, from the website I can see that this department has eight faculties and uh, of course it's a very vibrant department in the university and in the coming days this university will contribute more it, uh, it seems sociology is a very important subject if you want to study MA in sociology if you want to study PhD in sociology then uh, please feel free to visit the website of the university and you can uh, take admission here it's a very good department faculties are diverse and you can you can accordingly think of studying uh, in this university then like I showed uh, in the adjacent building this is in the department of political science so this is the department of political science uh, there are many faculties of course the faculties are diverse again here and uh, one more center is also there like i mentioned i have forgotten the name of the uh, center it, it is something like south asian studies or something like that so you can see the website uh, this is also a very nice department you can think of taking admission uh, uh, this department offers ma and phd so behind this department please uh, follow me Behind this department, there is uh, one more department, economics, which is called economics. And this side, this side, this is the office of the dean. That uh, building will not go near. And just so, abhi hum dikhayenge department of economics. So almost uh, social science departments are together except uh, history is in Kohima campus, education is in Kohima campus and English department is also in Kohima campus. Otherwise uh, all other departments are here only when it when we talk about social science. Here means in Lumami. Lumami from <coughs> Lumami 
to Kohima, the distance is about uh, how much? 200 kilometer. So it, it, it is a hilly terrain, so it takes a little bit more time, about six, five, six hours journey from here to uh, Kohima. So yeah, you can see the signboard here. Department of Economics, okay? Uh, and here is the Department of Anthropology. This is the Department of Anthropology. Uh, I could not take you inside because it is a uh, holiday here. Uh, you can see the playground. We have a very nice playground here. This university offers a very nice playground. So, yeah, you can see some students are already playing. Yeah, this is the playground. Uh, th since this terrain, entire terrain is hilly, as you can see, so getting a plane of this size is difficult so they have created uh, this plane area and uh, created a very good playground it looks very beautiful this is the anthropology department i have uh, already told right and now i'll show uh, about the exam section of the university so uh, i have met a faculty here uh, of nagaland university who works in the political science department so sir, what is your name? Uh, I'm Chandrasekharan. Okay, you're from which place sir? I'm from Tamil Nadu, Chennai. Tamil Nadu, Chennai, see. Yeah. So, uh, we have a diverse faculty here, that is what I was telling. He is from Tamil Nadu and he is working as an uh, assistant professor yes. in Nagaland yes. University. Center for Southeast Asian Studies. Uh, so, which center it is? Center for Southeast Asian Studies. Center for Southeast Asian Studies. Like I showed uh, in the political science department, there is a separate, separate center. So, he is at that center. We are lucky to have him. So, uh, just uh, tell us uh, briefly in two, three sentences about this university and um, uh, why students should come here to study. No, they compare with the mainland or southern part or northern part of the university. It's somewhat the weather condition and climate is good to study. Mm -hmm. So, and people also like uh, um, very friendly mm -hmm. compare with the scene. I have addressed a few issues, but here uh, the thing is uh, system was comple so it's completely different. Mm -hmm. So in south or north we are having like l lots of communal issues something mm -hmm. like that but in here in Nagaland I couldn't see that much the communal thing communal oh, issues nice. but uh, it I just compared this entire mostly Nagaland I compared to the Europe Europe having the ethnicity lots of ethnicity and ethnic issues here mm -hmm. the same they have ethnic ethnic issues not any kind of communal issues okay so, I so you want to say that uh, students should come and they will have a pleasant weather uh, here and they will yeah. it will be very nice for them to study yeah exactly it's see the hilly climate is good to study right, in right, my opinion right, 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 right. <laughs> so that uh, and the facility also somewhat good this is the youngest university right, at yeah, recently 30 or something like that right, right. so need to uh, uh, develop something yeah of course everything yeah, has yeah. scope so for development thank you thank you very much nice meeting yeah. you thank you okay Now we are going towards examination section. Uh, roads are not uh, very good here, but uh, inside the university you can manage. So, yeah, this is the examination section. This university is located in a very, very beautiful place. There is no doubt about it. You will stay in the hills, but uh, when you come to the hills, you must be ready also for some uh, certain logistical difficulties because hills have a different kind of uh, lifestyle. I mean, here the things function in different uh, ways. So you may, may not uh, 
equate the logistic system here along with the uh, places located in, located in planes. So this road takes you to uh, science departments and libraries, uh, central library we have in the library. ये जो सीढ़ी है आप देख रहे हो ये सीढ़ी इस सीढ़ी से भी सेंट्रल लाइब्रेरी जा सकते हैं तो हम सड़कों से जाएंगे यू कैन सी द ग्रीनरी दिल्ली जैसा जगह में तो ऐसा ग्रीनरी सपनों में भी मुमकिन नहीं है Here is the Department of Geography. It is a big department. The building looks pretty big. Department of Geography. Then you can see the banner here of Central Library. Or a diatraf on my right is Department of Geology. That is the signboard. So I wish I could take you inside the library and show how it is, but uh, there is. डर्थ ऑफ टाइम समय नहीं है मेरे पास उतना और वीडियो भी बहुत लंबा होते जाएगा सो दिस इज सेंट्रल लाइब्रेरी हियर इट इज सेंट्रल लाइब्रेरी ये अंदर से काफी बड़ा है ये सामने थोड़ा सा ये दिख रहा है हाँ दिस इज द सेंट्रल लाइब्रेरी ये लोग काम कर रहा है मजदूर लोग यही तो है जो नेशन को बनाते हैं दिस इज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स सम कंस्ट्रक्शन इज गोइंग ऑन एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स द एरिया इज इफ इट डजेंट रेन देन इट इज ड्राई department of chemistry if you want to study chemistry then you can try here this road leads to uh, vc vice chancellor's bungalow and then the hostels of the students ha huh? this is computer center on the left This is uh, Ihoshe Kinemi Hall on the left. As I said, this is the auditorium of the university. And then uh, you have cafeteria, some two, three cafeterias. And this is the shopping complex. And that you can see is the indoor stadium. बहुत बड़ा area है तो इसलिए मैं गाड़ी से ही दिखा रहा हूँ पैदल चलते चलते बनाएंगे तो बहुत टाइम लग जाएगा यहाँ पे और दिस यूनिवर्सिटी हैज अ केंद्रीय विद्यालय आल्सो केंद्रीय विद्यालय एन यू लुमामी इट इज रिटर्न हियर ऑन द लेफ्ट आई मीन यूल हैव टू गो टू दिस डिरेक्शन केंद्रीय विद्यालय कैन सी द साइन बोर्ड एंड कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र ऑल दिस थिंग इंजीनियरिंग सेक्शन ऑल दिस थिंग आर देर 
एंड जो एंड पीपल हैव एकोमोडेशन ऑल्सो हियर इन द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल द फैकल्टीज एंड देन नॉन टीचिंग स्टाफ सबके लिए यहाँ पे एकोमोडेशन का प्रावधान है देन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स एंड रिसर्च स्कॉलर्स देर आर डिफरेंट हॉस्टल्स फॉर हॉस्टल्स आर देयर फॉर मेल स्टूडेंट्स फॉर फीमेल स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज द हेल्थ सेंटर ऑन माई राइट यू कैन सी दिस इज द हेल्थ सेंटर हियर पीपल वेट फॉर बस दिस इज द हेल्थ सेंटर बेसिक हेल्थ केयर कैन बी यू नो अटेंड यहाँ पे यू कैन सी ऑल दिस गर्ल्स हॉस्टल्स आर हियर इली अली पर दिस आर द नेम्स ऑफ द हॉस्टल्स Many hostels are there. You can see the mesmerizing beauty. Uh, I, I think we can get down here. So, हम लोग अभी आ गए हैं conclusion part of the video. यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ से आप देख सकते हैं the views. Uh, all these buildings you can see are parts of Nagaland University. And see the mesmerizing beauty of the hilly zone, right? It is a beautiful place. so with this i end this video here please uh, visit the website of the university and if you think you want to study your ma msc phd or anything you can consider this university to study uh, i'm sure after visiting this university that this university will provide you better opportunities than many universities of the country and uh, subscribe my channel like the video and share it among your friends thank you for watching bye bye